Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is for April 7th until 13th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Well, you'll be offered by a very good hmm, amount, or very good uh, fee. Um, by a bank this this week, especially if you're trying to go for a home loan or remortgaging your existing house, it seems like you'll be receiving a very good deal. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now, there will be some bank talks or bank meetings that you'll be attending this week with regards to a property or to a real estate that you're currently working on or that you're trying to refinance. And definitely, you will be getting a very positive feedback or very positive news from this. And you will also be thinking about investing, you know, a little portion of that money that you're going to be getting from the bank because you want something in return that even though... Um, it's going to take some time for you to really put up a business or for you to really quit your job. You want something in return from the money that you will be borrowing. Now, somehow, it looks like even if you, you know, no matter that, no matter how much you try to work on your situation, solutions to your problems, it seems like somebody is still going to be like very not so happy and very so discontented with the things that are going to be going in your in your life or that in your you know in your personal lives and you're also getting tired of hearing too much criticisms too much whinings too much you know arguments is about something that you don't even know what this person that you're with wanted from you that you have tried to sit down and talk and discuss like what is it that you're the one for me what is it that makes you so irritated what is it that makes you feel so upset and angry about but this person just won't give you any decent answer. So you're also getting tired of coming up with a solution that all you want right now is just for to have a comfortable and better life. But this person is looking for more and more and more and more. You have even raised up, you know, at a table that if this person wants a divorce, but they did not really say anything to you. So it's it, it's like you want to consult a mind reader just to read whatever that's inside this you know this person's heart or whatever this uh, that's inside this person's mind now as much as you really l want to sort this thing out and you want to solve this situation you feel like little by little your foundation is starting to become hollow and unstable that in a week or in a month that there are far more arguments rather than being you know staying close or rather than getting along with each other you don't even see each other eye to eye or you don't even spend time with each other you will just wake up in the morning go home late and then that's it you know and i feel like you will be feeling a little bit suspicious about something so you will be there is a trip that you are going to be making within uh, the next two days or two weeks and this is where you will start like you know like all of a sudden there, there there's an instinct or there's some feeling that will be um sprucing up that you know you thought that it's this is just a suspicion but your instincts will just grow and grow and grow stronger and you will start asking a few people or you were you will also start looking for more answers through other people who can see you know your um who can see your spouse or who can see, who can watch your your house and then that is where you will be finding out that there has been a betrayal and lying that's been going on okay and you've been like working so hard and digging up yourself into you know like long working hours that even though you're so tired and you don't really have to work this hard because you're already comfortable yourself just to give whatever they want so you will be piecing out all the puzzles this week that's why they've been acting this way and a part of you feels like oh my god you know 
Like, this is the person that I have been, like, offering my sacrifices and hard works to. And all this time, I'm being lied upon or I'm being betrayed. There will be some confrontations that you will be doing uh, with this person. But uh, this person is, uh, you know, it's like they're ready. They're ready to fight back. They're ready to bounce back. And they're ready to sling back. So... You won't be in the mood to to argue, but you will just keep your quiet. You, sorry, you will just keep your silence, and you will just keep quiet about things, and you will just stay as close as possible. And you will be forming a plan in your mind that this week something needs to be, you know, something needs to be done as a concrete, um, as a concrete evidence or as a concrete thing, you know, to go against this person. And I feel like you will also be asking around that you'll be digging up more and you'll be very happy with your, you know, with your effort because it's going to be like an empty victory. It's not that you're going to be very happy, but you'll be victorious in finding out the truth. Now, despite of the solution that you've been getting and, you know, you will also be very lucky with the... Um, You'll also be very lucky with the uh, getting approved or with your finances. Yet somehow there is something big in return. Now, you will be getting the money by the end of the week. It will be released. But somehow you will start thinking, do I really need it for this? Or do I just start all over again, get my own house, you know, or get a new house to be refinanced? Or should I just, you know, stay here and uh, kick that person out? Now, you have done this in the past, that you've been like on and off, on and off, kick the other person out, and they're just going to keep on bouncing back and forth, and you're the one that's already getting tired of your situation. But then this time, you know that this is different, because there is already in evidence, there, is, there are three people who will be attesting, you know, about the lies that your spouse has been doing to you, and what they have been like seeing or observing so far. So... Financially, you will be doing good. You'll be bagging a lot of prosperity and abundance. And you will also be getting, you know, some gr more great news. Three good news that's going to be coming your way with regards to your work and to your career. And also the money that you're trying to get from the bank. It will be granted. But when it comes to your f personal life, when it comes to your marriage, when it comes to your relationship, this is where the truth will start coming out. And I feel like it's time for you to really address that this is what you really needed to, to, to see, to learn, and to hear. Okay? And don't be in denial. It's not really going to help you out. If you're so afraid of things to end, or if you're so afraid of ending things this way, then you better m more be afraid of having a prolonged agony and uh, you know somebody treating you like a doormat which is not a really good idea okay so I feel like you need to weigh more of your options that right before investing that money into something else and get tied down for how many years with this think long and hard again if this is what you really want Okay, so anyway, that's it for you for this week, Virgo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.